carried on, didn't he? After saying Rafun wa Nasbun wa Khafdun wa Jazmun, then he said Falil Fa Lil Asma'i Min Zalika Falil Asma'i Lil Falil Asma'i Min Zalika Min Zalika Zalika Rafu Rafu Wa Nasbu Wa Nasbu Wa Wala Jazma Jazma Fiha Hassan Falil Asma'i Min Dalika So for Al Asma'i which means The nouns Al Asma'u is a plural of Al Ismu Falil Asma'i Min dhalika, from that, i raf'un wa nasbun wa khafdun wa jazmun, those four, min dhalika al raf'u wa nasbu wa al khafdu. Right. Wa la jazma fiha. So, if we want to say, for example, the boy wrote the letter. The boy wrote the letter. Right, Ya yeah, Muhammad. How do we say the boy wrote the letter? Zahaba. No, Kataba. 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 Waladu. Al Waladu. Kataba. Al Waladu. Right, good. Ri Sala Ten. Kataba. Al waladu risalatan. So, what type of sentence is this? Al jumla tul fa'liya. We know it's al jumla tul fa'liya because it begins with kataba. Say, so, yeah, Muhammad, what is the irabun of kataba? Is is fi'lun madin. Good. Fi'lun madin mabaniyun ala al fatih. Now, al waladu, what is it? I'rabun of al waladu. Fa'ilun. Fa'ilun. Mabaniyun ala al. What do you mean, mabaniyun, ya Muhammad? How can it be mabaniyun? How can al waladu be mabaniyun? Is it not uh, Remember, remember what's no, no, no. This isn't what's what's the difference between Mu'rabun and Mabadiyun? That needs to be imprinted upon our minds. Mu'rabun changes. Mu'rabun changes. It changes. It's for an Ismun whose ending changes. Mabadiyun is doesn't change. It doesn't change. We should have actually mentioned more examples of Mabadiyun. We only mentioned Ha'ulai, but. There are others, but the point to note that cannot therefore be Mabaniyun, can it? No. Why? Because the ending of Al Waladu changes. So, start again. It is Fa'ilun. Fa'ilun. Be because therefore it's Mu'rabun, we can say it is Marfu'un. Marfu'un. Wa alamatu raf'ihi. Damma. Al-Zahiratu ala akhirihi Right? We can say that, can't we? You, you understand why you're uh, mistaken there, Muhammad? Right? Here we say Al-Waladu Fa'ilun Marfu'un It is Marfu'un, right? Wa alamatu raf'ihi Wa alamatu raf'ihi Adamatu adhahiratu ala akhirihi. Right? 
Now, going back to our previous lesson, remember we said that al irabu huwa taghiru awakhir al kalimi lihtilaf al awamili adakhilati alayha al awamili. Which amilun in this sentence has caused al waladu to be marfu'un? Which amilun in this sentence has caused al waladu to be marfu'un? Good, ya Muhammad, I like that. Kataba. I hope you didn't guess that. Because I'm going to ask you why. What, what is it about Kataba that has compelled Al Waladu to be Marfu'un? Kataba is a jumla to Fi'liya. So Kataba is the Fi'lun. And the Fi'lun is always Marfu'un. Well, right, that's good. I like that, Muhammad. Right? Kataba is a Fi'lun. Right? And therefore this is al jumla tul fi'liya. And al jumla tul fi'liya requires two parts in order for it to be correct. Which are they? Fi'lun and fi'lun. We have our fi'lun. So our fi'lun therefore must be al waladu. Because that's the meaning that we want to communicate. Yeah. Right? That is the meaning. If I wanted to say to you, he wrote the boy, then you wouldn't say that al waladu there is the fa'ilun, would you? Because that's not the meaning I want to communicate. The meaning I want to communicate is the boy wrote a letter. Therefore, Muhammad is correct because he said that kataba is the one that is compelled al waladu to be marfu'un because it requires what? It requires what? It requires a fa'ilun. And the fa'ilun, according to the rules of Arabic grammar, is always marfu'un. Right? It's always marfu'un. Therefore, what, why did we mention this example to illustrate the point that here, فَلِلْ أَسْمَاءِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ الرَّفْءُ الرَّفْءُ here, الْوَلَدُ Indicates that it is al ismu. <coughs> but as you're going to see in the next segment, it can also be al fitlu. But here it's al ismu because it is marfu. Does everyone understand that? The concept of al amilu and al ma'mulu. So what's al ma'mulu here? It's al waladu. It's the it's the ismu that's been affected, right? <laughs> So al waladu is the fa'ilun. Now, risalatan, risalatan. Right, ya namal haq. Do the i'rabun af risalatan. The mafulun bihi. Right, yes, mafulun bihi. Alamatun. Well, you say it's mafu'a. Yeah, it's mafulun bihi, mansubun, wa alama, nasbihi, No, it is a fatha or tanwinu fathin. Right? So either you're going to say the indicator of it being mansubun is. Al Fatha to Al Zahira to Al Akhirihi, right? Or some grammarians say it's Tanwinu Fatin. But remember from my uh, earlier lessons, the Tanween is only the second Harakatun anyway. It's not both of them, right? It's not both. So, in effect, you're saying the same thing. Do you understand? You're saying that the indicator is al fathatu whether that al fathatu is the second one in the tanween or the fathatu is the one on the tamar water here both of them are indicators that it is a mafulu bihi now yanamul haq 
What is the amilun that has compelled risalatun, risalatun to be risalatan? What's the amilun? Anybody? What's the amilun? No, no, it's not going to be al waladu. Why is it not going to be al waladu? Think about what's happened here. Kataba al waladu, the boy wrote. Where has the writing become manifest? Upon the boy or upon the letter? Letter. Upon the letter. So what is the amilun? Kataba is the amilun. Because it's kataba if the verb is al muta'addi. If the verb is al muta'addi, meaning it takes an object, then it's the verb that has caused the action to become manifest upon the object. Right? You follow? Muhammad. Yeah, well, fine. It, here, Kataba, he wrote. So, what action has been taking place? The writing. Who? Man qama bil fitli. Man qama bil fitli. Who has performed the action? The boy. The boy, right? You understand that bit? Yeah. Right? Ala mother. As they say, ala mother. Waqa'a al fitlu. Upon what? Has the action fallen upon the letter? The letter. Right? So whatever the action has fallen upon will assume the status of being the mafulun bihi. Right? Therefore, because it's the mafulun bihi, according to the rules of Arabic grammar, just like al fa'ilu is a marfu'un, the mafulun bihi is. Mansubun, you understand? Yeah. You sure? We can do it again, yeah. right? It's the action. It's al kitabatu. The writing has fallen upon what? The boy, or a letter? If we were to say here, if we were to say kataba al walada. Okay, would it make sense? But grammatically, it's correct. Now, where has the writing fallen upon? The boy. Why? Right? The fa'ilu now is mustatir. Taqdiruhu huwa. Right? But, in terms of who has now been affected by the writing of huwa, it is al walada. Right? You understand? So, what do we note about Kitab al Waladu Risalatan that we have Raf'un al Waladu and Nasbun Risalatan? But remember, this is important the concept of the Amilun, the actor causing the change and al ma'mulu the one who has been affected by that change in this instance al ma'mulu is al waladu and risalatan jazmun so how do we change sorry not not jazmun because uh, there is no jazma fiha Khafdun Al Khafdu. How do we represent Al Khafdu in this sentence? Let's change the sentence to make manifest Al Khafdu. Al Kataba Al Waladu Fi Risalatin. He wrote in Kinaka. Yeah, no, we could we could say that. I mean, it's not great, right? <laughs> but we could say that, or you could change it, and you could say, 
Qara'a. What does Qara'a mean? Qara'a. He? Red. Qara'a. Al-waladu? Fi? Al-risalati. Oh, risalatan. Qara'a. Al-waladu. The boy read? Fi? In? A letter. And then whatever it was that he read. Risala. Ten. Now, we have fi risalatin. Fi is? Harfu jarrin. Risalatin is? Ismun majroorun. Okay. And it has been made majroor because of? Fi. Fi. Right, so we say that is majroorun. Majroorun bi harfi jarrin. Majroorun bi harfi jarrin. Majroorun by a harfu jar. Right? So now, Ya Safarazu, what is al amilu here? Harfu jar. And the ma'mulun is, or al ma'mulu is? Risalatin. Okay? So, the only other point to note here about this sentence Qara'a al waladu fi risalatin is that Qara'a, let's quickly do the Arab one Qara'a, Muhammad Fi'lun Madin Mabaniyun al al fathi al waladu is Fa'ilun Marfu'un and the indicator for being marfu'un is? Right. Alamatu raf'ihi adhammatu wa dhahiratu wa l'akhiri Fi is? Harfu jarrin risalatin is ismu majroor Okay, majroorun bi harfi jarr But what is fi risalatin here? This is a good question What is fi risalatin? Now, this is the interesting bit, is that remember that this is called Shibhul Jumlati. What does Shibhul Jumlati mean? Like he said. I like that, Muhammad. Jumlati. Shibhul Jumlati. In English, it's called a prepositional phrase. Because you've got a phrase that begins with a preposition and then a noun that follows it. But in Arabic, it's called Shibhul Jumlati. What does Shibhul Jumlati mean, literally? What does Shibhul mean? Tashabbaha, ashibaha. Resembling. Resembling a sentence. So it's like a sentence, but it's not a sentence, is it? How do we know it's not a sentence? How do we know for absolute certainty it's not a sentence? Sentence only start with a ismun or a fa'il. Right, because there are only two types of sentences. One that begins with a fi'lun, the other one begins with an ismun. This is neither of them, so it can't be them. Which is why this says shibhul jumlati. And the shibhul jumlati can be of two types, either one that begins with a harfu jar or a dharfun. Dharfu zamani wal makani, such as? Bayna masjidin. Right, bayna masjidin. Fawq al arshi. Taht al arshi, that kind of thing, right? So, the grammarians have differed into two groups regarding how do we grammatically define fi risalatin in this sentence how do we define it what would you think ordinarily fi risalatin is in the sentence the the mafoolun bihi and that's what some of the uh, letter grammarian said they said it's just a type of mafoolun bihi that comprises of shibhul jumlati 
But the earlier grammarians, they say that it's not. What it is, they say that muta'alliqani, that the jarun and the majrurun is muta'alliqani. What does muta'alliqani mean? Muta'alliqani bil fi'li fi'li qara'a. They say that it is muta'alliq. What does muta'alliq mean? Hidden. No, that's mustatir. Muta'alliq means connected, related. It's muta'alliqani, connected bil fi'li. With the verb. Which verb is it that is connected to risalatin? The qara'a, right? The reading. So if you read the earlier books of I'rab, this is how they'll phrase it. That that shibhul jumlati is actually connected to qara'a rather than saying it is the maf'ulun bihi. Just a subtle point to note regarding that. Wala jazma fiha. Wala jazma fiha. What does that mean, Ya Muhammad? And uh, no jazm in it. Right. Which means what? It doesn't end with the jazm. Right. So you cannot say ki. Why have I written it like that? You cannot say kitab as we know from my very first lesson. You cannot say kitab. It will never be madzumun, that ismun, which is nice and simple to understand, right? So the final bit, he said Ibn Wajirum. Walil al-fa'wa Walil al-fa'li Al-fa'li In zalika Wa Lil Af'ali In zalika Min zalika Al-raf'u Al-nasbu Al-jazmu Al-raf'u Raf'u Al-Nasbu Al-Jazmu 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 Wala Khafda Fiha Khafda Fiha Khafda Fiha And so, for al afalu verbs, min dalika meaning those four categories, al rafu, wal nasbu, wal jazmu, wala khafda fiha al rafu. Where do we see al rafu in? Al fi'lu. Or when you do present tense. When you do present tense, such as? Um, Aftu. Right. Yak. I know you said Aktubu, Muhammad. Yaktubu. Al Waladu. Yaktubu. Al Waladu. Right? Yaktubu al waladu. And as you will see very shortly, inshallah ta'ala, that it is that indicator of it being a raf'u can be a dhamma to or manaba anha, what deputizes for it, such as in al asma al afalu al khamsa, the five different conjugations such as what's the plural male of yaktubu yaktubuna yaktubuna 
Right, it is yaktubuna, isn't it? Yaktubuna. So, where is the Dhamma in Yaktubuna? It's not there, is it? Not the wall this time, Ya Muhammad. The wall is not uh, the indicator for being marfu'un. The wall in Yaktubuna serves a different purpose. Plural. Not the plural. It's al fa'ilu, good. It's al fa'ilu. Don't confuse al ismu, which is al jam'u, and which is al mudhakkar, and which is al salim, such as muslimuna. Don't confuse the ismun with the fi'lun. Because it's not the same. In the fi'lun, the wall is the fa'ilun. Ithbatun nuni, remember Ithbatun nuni is the indicator that it is marfu'un, right? So yaktubu has a dhamma and yaktabuna Ithbatun nuni and we'll see that shortly insha'Allah ta'ala. Wa nasba, an nasba. What is a nasba? We know it is al fathatu right? We have already seen and mentioned on numerous occasions an example of where al fi'lu becomes mansubun. When does al fi'lu become mansubun? When it's a madi, uh, singular madi. Ya Muhammad, no! Because that is mabaniyun. That's mabaniyun. <laughs> That's why we always say fi'lun madin mabaniyun. No, no, we're talking about al mudari here. Right, yeah. So far as you remember the ayah that we've been reading all our lives. Fa illam taf'alu wa lan taf'alu. Right. Taf'al. What does taf'al mean? Taf'alu. What does taf'alu mean? You single male. You single male doing or she. So if we place len before it, what happens to the adamma to? It becomes al fatha. It becomes len taf a la. Becomes mansuba, uh, doesn't it? Like here, wa nasba. Right? Or what deputizes for it? So in that ayah, len taf'alu. Fa in lam taf'alu, wa len, len taf'alu. Where's al fatha on len taf'alu? It's not there. So what is the indicator for being mansubun? Hadhfun noon. If it's the batun noon, it's the indicator that it's a marfu'un. The indicator that it's a mansubun is? Hadhfun noon. The removal of the noon. Right here, Muhammad. We remember this, we've done it before, right? So that's the lan. So if we change that back to taf alu, when does this become majzumun? Lamma. Lamma. Lam taf al. Right. Like in the ayah, fa in lamma taf alu. What's the indicator of it being majzumun there on a al khamsa? A alaf al al khamsa? Right. No, not the sukun. There is no sukun. It's hadfanuni. You drop the noon, don't you? Next time you read that eye and look, you'll notice there's no noon. There's only an alif in its place. Lam taf al. And but all of these are explained in more detail. That's how we're doing it quickly. Wala khafda fiha. What does it that mean? Wala khafda fiha. It means. 
that it cannot become majroor. You can't say taf a li. And that is the meaning of his statement, Rahimahullah wala khafda fiha, and there is no khafda fiha. Now, the only point to note, therefore, is that in terms of what is in agreement between al asma wa al afalu, there are two, are there not? So there's two indicators that share commonality between al asma wa al afalu. Those two are? They have three. So they have three. They have three endings each. <laughs> no, no, no. Which which of these can we have on both al asma'u and al afalu? Al asma'u, al afalu. Right. Can we have a rafu on al asma'u? No. Yes, we can have a rough on. Can we have a rough on al afalu? Yes. Yes, we can have a rough on. Right, can we have nasb on al asma'u? Yes. Yes. Right, can we have nasb on al afalu? Yes. Yes. Can we have khafdun on al asma'u? Yes. Yes. Khafdun. No Can we have Khafdun al Afalu? No. Can we have Al Jasmun al Asma'u? No. No. Can we have Al Jasmun al Afalu? Yes. Yes. So, back to my question. Two of them, Rafun and Nasbun, can be on both al Asma'u and al Afalu, right? But only Khafdun can be on al Asma'u. And. Uh, no, uh, yes, only Khafdun and al Asma'u, and only Jazmun on al Afalu. Right? Fahimtum, ya Muhammad. Yeah, uh, just got one question. Yes, brother. Uh, I forgot what the first word did you meant. Wa aqsamu. Wa aqsamu. Aqsamu. It's a categories. Cate it's categories. Aqsamu by itself. Aqsamu. It's categories. Or types. Or types or divisions. Or. It refers to Iran. Sorry? It refers to Iran. Yes. So the fi'l will never be majrurun. The fi'l will never be majrurun. Ism will never be jazmun. Majrurun. That's the piece. Just one line. Right, we should conclude. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.